Hello, here is a video on how to make a split chain. I realized that a little while ago I remade the video that shows how to make a split chain when working traditional tatting, but I didn't remake the one that shows how to do it when you're working front side, back side. So what I mean is that when working front side, back side, all your stitches face the same way. So you normally you do a ring and then you reverse work and do your chains. And in traditional tatting, when you reverse work, you would still start with a full double stitch but with front side back side when you reverse your work you would start with the second half of a double stitch and carry on so that from the front all your stitches match so this is the split chain you will need to use for making the little christmas tree so now we're looking at the back of the work so i'm starting my chain which is the first half of my split chain as normal i want to make a chain that's going to match these they have 10 stitches each so i'm starting with the second half so that's one stitch, two stitches, three, four, five. So it ends when you're on the back side, it ends with a half stitch. And now we're going to join to where we want our split chain to finish. So the next joining here on the ring below. And before you tighten your join, what you want to do is to leave a bit of bare thread here, equivalent to the length of stitches you need to work so that it matches on the other side. So I'm going to tighten like this. And then you reverse your work. So you're going to be working the second half of the split chain from the front. So you want to start, because it's the front, you want to start with a full stitch. And this is how to do it. So you hold your tatting between your middle finger and thumb, instead of normally you working like this. You want to middle finger because you need your index finger for holding the thread so you're going to wrap the thread so you're just using one shuttle you don't need the other thread that's this is attached to my ball or it could be attached to another shuttle but you just need this one shuttle only so you hold it here you wrap around your index finger from front to back and then bring it behind your work i'm using my index finger to hold it behind and then you can see here you can see it through the gap in the arch here you want to grab it with your shuttle with the hook of your shuttle pass your shuttle through it and tighten till you have a small loop left and then you pull with your index finger here so that this loop here pops to the back see it's now at the back of the work and you pass your shuttle through but not all the way i hold it around the neck of my shuttle and then i pull so that it tightens this first loop we've made here on the left and then I pass my shuttle through it and then start tightening the second. And before I tighten everything, I go in here, snug this first half. That's the first half of your stitch. And then pull on the thread coming from your shuttle and tighten the second half. So you can see it's made a full stitch. It's a little bit harder to see because we've got the knot of where we joined. But let's make another one. So hold between index and thumb. No, sorry. Hold between middle finger and thumb, wrap around your index finger from front to back, bring it behind your work. With your hook, grab the thread through, pass your shuttle through it, tighten till you have a small loop. With your index finger, pull so it pops to the back. Pass your shuttle through, but hold it around the neck of your shuttle or the hook, and then tighten. So this tightens here, down here, the first half, I pass my shuttle all the way through and I start tightening here. But before I complete it, I tighten the first half and then pull on the thread from the shuttle to tighten the second half. So now we have two stitches made. So again, we're making five stitches. So that's the third one with your hook, grab through, pass your shuttle through it. Tighten till you have a small loop. Pull on your index finger till the loop pops to the back. Pass your shuttle through, but hold it around the neck of your sh shuttle. Tighten. Pass your shuttle through. Tighten a bit, but first tighten the first half of the stitch and then the second half of the stitch. So that's three stitches. Grab the thread, 
pass your shuttle through it, tighten so you have a small loop, pop the loop to the back, pass your shuttle through but hold around the neck, tighten, pass your shuttle through, tighten the first half and then the second half. And then I'm just going to pull to make myself a little gap for the last stitch. Around my finger, grab through, pass your shuttle through, make a small loop, make it pop to the back by pulling with your index finger, grab it and keep it around the neck if you shuttle, pull to tighten the first half, pass your shuttle through, tighten, not all the way, pull to tighten the first half and pull to tighten the second half. And there you have it, you've made a split chain and your two threads are in the middle of the chain or wherever your pattern wants you to be so it, it could be on the side depending on what the pattern is but that lets you move both your shuttles to where you want them to be usually for starting the next round there you go i hope you'll find this useful and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye